morning and welcome to my work from home morning routine. So I like to wake up early. I'll take off the skincare from the night before using an alcohol-free toner on a reusable cotton pad. Today I'm using the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner and I've been really enjoying this Laneige sleeping mask. I really like it. I feel bad that I didn't like it the first time around. And then I'm going to prime my face using my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber face mask. I just prime in sections because you already know what I'm going to do. My beloved new face device. You've seen it so many times. Moving that device up along my jawline. I'm going to do it six times and this device does beep. So when it beeps, I just bring it back to the front and repeat the process. The beep basically indicates how long you need to do one move for. So now I'm going up my face to help just tighten the sections around my mouth, adding a little bit more of my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber mask and I'm kind of hugging my cheekbone. I really love this device. It makes me feel better about myself. You see the results instantly. Priming a little bit more, I'm gonna do some holds around my mouth. This is probably my favorite part of this routine. The section around my mouth has started to kind of droop. That's natural, it's not a big deal, but I do really enjoy using this device because I can see results instantly. Moving up to my forehead. I hate this part because honestly holding the device up this high makes my arms really sore, especially after an arm workout. But I will say after doing this, like my forehead does not move as much as it normally does. Like it kind of loosens up the muscles so that there's less tension in your forehead. So throughout the day when I am being expressive, I can feel that my forehead is kind of fighting against me to not move. So again, I'm gonna do a little bit of holds, especially where I hold tension around my brow and just take a deep breath. So I did this half of my face. I don't know if you can see, but just like less saggy. It looks tighter. as opposed to over here. And now my smile, you can see the biggest difference. Can you see how this cheek just like pops? And this one doesn't. So this is the side, look at that. And then look at this, she's a little flat. I don't move my forehead a lot when I talk, but I do have this kind of like tension that I get right here where my brow kind of like furrows on this side. So I hold the microcurrent here because that's what this device is. I hold it here so that it helps to kind of work out that muscle, relieving the tension. Can you see there's a little bit of something, something here. Whereas on this side, it's kind of like filled out a little bit now. So let me know down below, can you see the difference? between this side of my face and this side of my face, I would love to hear. I think the difference mostly is in here. Not only do I use the original OG attachment, I do use the lips, eye, and face attachment, which I'm gonna show you as well. Taking the lip and eye attachment, I'm gonna prime around my mouth, and then I basically put this on the lower outer corner of my mouth, hold that for two to three beats before moving inward towards the center of my lip holding for two to three beeps again, and then I'm gonna bring it up top and do the same thing, starting on the outer corner, holding for two to three beeps before moving inward towards the center top of my lip. Now, this is my favorite part of the whole routine, getting the little folds, the labia folds around my mouth. So I'm really, like, I'm not pressing hard, but the prongs look like it's really dig in there, but I'm focusing on the upper portion of my labia fold, now moving down a little bit, to the lower portion of my labia folds, again, holding for two to three beeps. Sometimes I'm swift and I multitask and I'm gonna prime my eyes or I guess my 11s. I'm focusing on those little 11 lines to just help relieve the tension in my forehead. I didn't do the, the eyes. I don't have time today. Sometimes I do like around my eye. I just, I don't have time today. If you wanna see that, let me know and I'll upload a shorter form video, maybe like a shorts or TikTok or something like that showing you. But I just lifted around my mouth and I don't know if you can see, but now there's like minimal folds or sagging over here. To take these on and off, there's a button in the back. You just push the button. I'll go wash this, but I have to do the other side of my face. I feel like I'm just always sitting here. My plan is to at some point spruce up the background so it's not as clothing rack and just plain and white, but it is what it is. It's been a couple hours since I did my new face and now I'm just taking a break from work, which this is like the beauty of working from home. I can stop and take five minutes to do a quick little face mask. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this mask because I bought it in my Sephora haul. It's amazing. And I have to say, I am like very addicted to this 
this. This is the Foreo 2 LED lights in it. There are red ones, there's a green one, there's a purple one. I think there's like a whole slew of them. You have to buy masks, like specific masks for this device. I haven't used this one yet. This is the Youth Junkie Collagen Infused. Maybe we'll do this one today, but I've been really liking these two. Call it a night, ginseng and olive oil, and it's just really nice to throw on your face, do a nice little massage before I go to bed, very relaxing. Make my day, hydrating, hyaluronic acid, and red algae. You have to download the app, so where's my phone? Let me grab my phone. I don't think I'm out of reach, I think it found me. We're connected, here we are, here vibrating. It'll tell you, connected, UFO mask treatments. It has the different options of the ones that you can buy. Today I'm clicking the make my day treatment because that is what I'm using. This is what the mask looks like. I'm gonna rip it open and then I'm gonna sit it up so that the liquid inside doesn't leak out because I am gonna do this mask a few times. Every session is 90 seconds, but you can repeat it as many times as you want. I'm probably gonna do it three times. What is that? Like five minutes, it's fine. I have five minutes. Let me see if I can explain this nicely. This is the plate that you put the mask on and you take this little plastic ring out, take the sheet mask, place it on the plate, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab that ring. This is what it looks like. I locked it in place and you can see the mask is there. And I'm gonna hit start. Use a circular motion and allow your body and your mind to relax. You see the LED light, it's red. And I'm just doing it about my face and it gives like a warming sensation. At one point it's gonna start vibrating. I really think the LED lights on here do help to treat my sensitive skin. If you can see, but my face is pretty red. And then after this treatment, it won't be as red. But can you hear it vibrating? Each time I'll focus on a different section. So for the first treatment, I'm gonna focus on my cheeks and the center of my face. And then one treatment, I'll focus on my neck, my forehead. So you can kind of just like make your own. And now it's a green light. Sorry, I finished my mask and my battery died. So I'm gonna do it again. But I wanted to pull up different lights and what they do here. So as you guys saw, it has a red light in the mask that I just used. And the red light stimulates the product of the production of collagen and elastin to firm and lift the skin. It diminishes fine lines, wrinkles, and other signs of aging. And then it also has a green light, which I really think is what helps to tone down the redness. It's definitely a lot less red than it was before I did this. The green light evens out skin tone, brightens dull complexion, and softens age spots. It helps with dark circles and other just discoloration on your face. I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna show you my little tip that I do. I kept this standing up, squeeze the packet, and distribute a little bit more of that serum. 99.9% .9 of the time, there's always stuff left over in the package. I'm gonna start on my forehead this time. She's turning red. Hear her vibrating. I'm gonna focus on my forehead this minute and a half. This is how I do it. You can literally just do your whole face in a minute and a half if you don't have time. You don't have to follow me. Oh, the warmth feels so nice especially when you have a headache, it feels so good. I really love this device and I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I love it. Now it's green. So I'm gonna focus that on the areas where I have sunspots, which really is on this side of my face. And it counts down how much time you have. And that's it. So it's over, it's gonna vibrate for like 10 more seconds. And then I'm gonna do one more treatment on my neck, but it gives you the option to repeat treatment. So I'm gonna hit that, add a little bit more. I'm telling you guys, like I could go like five, six times with how much is in here. Just a little hack, a hack from me to you. Never forget the neck. Focus it on those lines. Oh, it feels so good on like my sore muscles too. My neck has been bothering me. I've been sleeping like a lunatic. All right guys, and that's it. Like honestly, it's so magical. It's still vibing though. And it feels nice, especially after you do the new face. If you're new to the new face or you know, you don't use it for a while and then you use it again, like your face muscles, it doesn't hurt. They feel a little sore because the new face device does work out your facial muscles. And then this feels nice to just like calm the muscles down. Turn your device off, take this part out, take the little masky mask out, and then you throw <laughs> this out, which I hate. Like I find this to be wasteful, but I don't know. I really enjoy this treatment, so I will justify it. And then. I I literally just go run this under warm water. I'm gonna take my lip scrubby and just scrub the dead skin off my lips gently because I did put the Laneige sleeping mask on. I'm gonna brush the brows up too to just make myself look more awake. And I leave the serum on from the Foreo mask. I don't wash it off. I'm very excited and I'm trying to 
keep the vibrations high because Mike and I are hosting a waves and wine event tomorrow, which is Saturday. It's not really going to be a waves event anymore. We're going to have to call it like a rain and rally event because unfortunately the weather, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. And like, I'm not kidding you guys. Like this is just my luck. It's beautiful every day, except the day that we chose to have this event. We were originally going to have it at the beach house, but unfortunately due to the rain, our beach house is too small to house 15 people inside. I really wanted it to be like an indoor outdoor event at the beach house, but I cannot control the weather as much as I would like to control the weather. Mike and I are gonna go and buy a bunch of wine. I'm gonna do a charcuterie board and we will just have to postpone our beach celebrations to another day. It's gonna be a hot girl summer. And despite how sad I'm gonna be, because my dad's birthday is over Memorial Day weekend. And my dad was like a sun worshiper, like sun god. My dad lived for the beach, lived for the summers. So it's just like fitting that his birthday is always on Memorial Day weekend. So it's gonna be sad and it's gonna be hard because the summer and the beach always makes me think of my dad because my dad would always be there regardless <laughs> if I was personally there. And it has been really hard. This year and last year have been the toughest years of my existence, but I'm trying trying to compartmentalize and take care of my mental health. I cry every day, but I've gotten to the point where crying in the morning does not ruin the rest of my day. I have a cat hair on my lip, the saving grace for me, just like being grateful for my life and things in it and kind of just like really being present in the moment. Like looking at my husband and like being grateful that he's healthy and the two of us are having tea together and relaxing and there's nothing like serious going on in the moment, you know? I just, I feel like death and loss has taught me the importance of the now. All you really have is right now. It's been really humbling and comforting and peaceful. Hello, I primed my face. If you can hear Michael in the shower, the show must go on. Your girl's running late as always, but it's okay because I have this super quick makeup routine that saves me every freaking time. Primed my face with Murad SPF, a little bit of Bully Henriksen Banana Bright Cream. I'm actually really liking it despite my initial thoughts of it. What else is on my face? Oh, and I also use my Shiseido serum. So that is where we're at. I hope you can see me. I've been using a plate lately because I've been putting makeup on the back of my hand and then I get makeup all over my clothes and it happened all over my brand new white shirt that I wore for the first time the other day. I'm gonna use this Say Slip Tint. I've been really enjoying this. It also has sunscreen in it and a little bit of face oil the tiniest pump of that oil. I have a spatula because I'm a little chemist in the mornings when I'm rushing, mixing it up. To save me time, I put all the brushes that I use every day for my work makeup in one little container. Pro tip for me to you. This is the concoction I just created. I was stamping it into the skin. And as you can see, your girl is really red around her mouth. So that's where I'm focusing this. And this is really dewy, but it looks really nice. And I don't find that it accentuates my pores too, too much but I love a good do. So I'm just stamping it into the skin and it has the lightest coverage. You're still gonna be able to see my redness. It's just not gonna be as red. We go in with concealer to cover up whatever we need to cover up. This is like the most natural makeup look I've done in a really long time, but it just looks so done at the same time. It's like, natural but there. Like I definitely do really natural makeup where I just throw on a little bit of concealer, blush, bronzer, call it a day. Or sometimes I just put concealer on and that's it. So I've definitely been more natural, but this is the most like, looks like I put in effort natural. OG copper stick. This right here is my favorite part. I'm just gonna erase that. And I'm looking in my mirrors to make sure it's even. OG brush. Mm, goodbye, double chin. Goodbye. This is why I love being a woman. I mean, granted, if you're a guy, you could contour too, but I just love makeup. But in all reality, I must hurry up. All right, now I'm gonna squeeze my brush like that and blend out this janky nose, nose job that I gave myself. 
And if you mess up, it's okay, just take it off. And then I put the excess over my bump because I got a bump that I like to bring back. Concealer, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I really love this. This is my favorite concealer, NYX, really good. And I'm putting it on the plate, which I'm gonna be honest, if you have textured skin, it ends up looking better on the back of your hand and then into the brush because the back of your hand warms up the formula. But I just, this is what I've been doing when I'm in a rush in the morning and I'm picking it up from the pan. I'm in the shade Vanilla, Vanilla, Vanilla. Brighten up the sections that need a little brightening. I'm kind of just keeping this to the center of my face. And like, my skin is just very red. She's angry. Can you see how angry the skin is? My hourglass, cause it, it's a little bit more full coverage. And I'm just gonna highlight the sections that need a little help. Just like that, just a, a little a kiss at a makeup. We have so much to do for this party. Oh my God. I didn't do enough today, um, but I was busy. Still have things to do, honestly, but I need to get ready now. And then I'm just gonna clean up the sides of my nose contour. I'm just gonna go back in with this and blend out the sections that don't have contour. I'm gonna go over the nose lightly. I'm wearing this like jumpsuit, you know, it's like a leotard and I just don't feel like it going up inside of me. Um, so it's unhooked right now. And that's also uncomfortable because it's digging into my sides. I really don't like leotards, but they look really cute. I'm gonna use Stockholm from Merit. Cause I really like this color and I feel like it makes me look like I have some color. I wore shorts for the first time today to go to the post office. I was like, wow, it's my first day in shorts of the season to my husband, right? And he's like, yeah, it looks like it. Now, I'm someone that doesn't like to wear shorts. Raise your hand in the comments if you are a shorts hater. It's just like, listen, I have no problems with my body. I love myself. I mean, but we all have those areas that we're a little self-conscious about regardless of our size. That section of my legs that like shorts cut off, you know, my thighs, that's the largest part of my body. And when you wear shorts and there's a line, your eye naturally, it's just like makeup. It's all about illusion. Your eyes naturally go to the bottom of those shorts and draw attention to your large thighs. Larger thighs, I love my thighs, but I just, shorts are not flattering. And I like to put what's ever left over on the brush a little in here, just cause I feel like it ties it all together. It makes the blush look more natural. I also put some in my crease as you saw, but he was like, but you feel confident in a bikini. And I'm like, yes, because I don't know, like my waist complements my thighs and my waist is smaller. I don't know, it's just like a bikini cuts me off better. So long as it's a good bikini that I picked out, there are bikinis that can make you look terrible. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but he said my legs look very ghostly. So I wanna look a little flushed and I clearly need to self tan, which I have not done in a hot minute. But let's move on to zip brows. What do I wanna do here? I definitely wanna brush them up. I'm gonna use Merit Brow Gel and then I'm gonna fill them in just a, a bit. I was going to shave my brows today. Not not shave them off, but shave them with a razor. I should say it that way. I was gonna do it with you guys, but you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I chickened out. I get a lot of comments on the brows, a lot of negative ones and it's okay. I'm not letting the haters get me down because to be honest, if I saw someone with these magnificent brows, like I would hate on them too. No, I would probably just tell the person that they have amazing eyebrows. So, Joa and just fill in the sparse areas very, very lightly. But also I'm not gonna lie, the comments have me checking them thrice. So clearly I don't think I'm that hot of shit, so. So I let that cream warm up on my face, pat it and like take any of the creases out, but it's nice and warm on the skin. So I can kind of maneuver it still. I really like this and I feel like I don't know why I like it so much. And I'm like, almost like, do I tell people that I like this? Because it's Ciate, watermelon burst setting powder. I don't know. It just feels very like it shouldn't be this good by the name of it, but I really love it. I don't think I said I'm using this e.l.f. flawless concealer brush, really good brush. I'm taking out the creases. Morphe, it's disgusting, M0 brush. And I'm going to pat, I kind of like look up and I pat it. And it just, it's nice. And now I'm gonna use it to help clean up that nose contour. And I go in with stamping motions first, right here to like help brighten the eye a little bit and make the eyes look more awake. It just, it lifts. It's really great, honestly. I really like this powder, except I will forever have creases. What's a girl to do? 
But like, look, I don't know. It just makes it look so much better. The nose contour really helps to brighten the little areas. But then this is what I did yesterday and holy shit, my skin looked amazing. Yes, she's bougie. And she keeps her Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless, whatever the hell this is. Not for my under eyes though. Laura Mercier is better and I stand by that decision. However, yesterday I used this flat puff. It's like probably from the dollar store. I'm gonna use this puffy. Just like, let's see if you could, it's just, it's like powder foundation. And I just like, honestly set the rest of my face. With this powder and i've been powdering up here because my hair gets so greasy i feel like this was better though yeah i don't know do you see how that just like erased everything on this side oh wow and then i like to take what's ever left over and just put it on my nose setting spray duh and i've been fanning with my fan to set it game changing honestly oh. Till I drop you. Legit. I think I'm gonna mascara a lipid and call it a day. But I'm gonna take my blush brush and just go over my cheeks one more time. With whatever is left over. I feel like the skin looks great. Could look better, but it is what it is. And then that's it. The gangsta gotta go. Like I'm just gonna pack on the mascara. That's what we're gonna do. Pray I don't get it all over myself. I did. Yay. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this ain't it. I don't know where my KKW went though. Mm, where would you be? Mmm. Ha ha. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. And a liner. We need a lip liner. Just to judge. We need a judge. A little. We need a little lip judge a lot of the time. I love a lip liner. I've also honestly been loving a throw and go like this. Although, Pat McGrath, there's like no freaking product in this. I just opened this. I'm gonna put a little of this over top. It's really pretty. It's like juicy, but it's pretty by itself. All right, this is it. I gotta throw all my jewels, but I'll show you. I'll give you a sense. Terrible, terrible lighting and my room is a mess. Like what's happening here? I told Mike to call me Dr. Daddy because I'm wearing my doctor coat Valentino bag that matches my shoes perfectly. A little dewy, but it's a nice cheek. It's a nice lip. It's a good vibe. My skin looks so good. I mean, granted, my under eyes don't look that great, but the rest of my face, this mixed with this is like some kind of voodoo witchery shit. I don't really love how my eyebrows came out today though. This one's not really giving as much as this one is, but oh my skin. Let me know, what do we think, what do we think? I think I look fabulous, if I'm being honest. This might be the summer um, cocktail for the face. Just a thought. And I'm back in the seat I am always in. Not gonna lie, yesterday was the party. I didn't film a single bit of it at all. I don't even think I took a picture, which in hindsight is kind of upsetting. I put a lot of effort into that cheese plate, cheese board, veggie plate, put a lot of effort into the food and Mike picked some pretty stellar wines. I'll put pictures of my favorite that I tasted for the first time from our wine tasting event yesterday. It was fun, I had a great time. My two girlfriends from New York City came in. They brought me the most beautiful flowers. I'll insert a little clip of the flowers and they brought Levine cookies, which so good. Make you feel sick. I always recommend eating a half, never eating a full, but mm, they'll catch you every time. And then all my cousins, my sister, it was a grand old time. Mike and I were joking prior to the event. Well, at least it was my idea though, so anyone is a shady one it is me i was like let's have a bottle of fancy wine that the two of us only drink and we'll hide it in the cellar because mike bought a new wine rack and we put it together friday night and we put it in the basement we wanted like our own separate selection you know the bougie couple 
the bougie married couple that we are. And he built the wine rack. I helped. I did a terrible job, but I did help. And then we put it together and we put all of our Napa wines that we bought in Napa. We put them down in the basement because we don't share those. I don't remember what the point was other than the fact that that was something that I did this weekend. We put together the wine rack before the wine tasting event. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty damn cool. But I went a little too hard and I went a little too ham on the wines. And your girl is definitely feeling it today day. I'm a little hung. A little hung. It's Sunday. It's 5.52 and I mean I did some things today. I kind of did a lot but it was a lot of sitting and not a lot of movement because I can't handle that right now. But I edited my Napa vlog so that went up. I posted it. Exciting. And I also cleaned the bathroom. I feel a little nauseous right now but I would say the event was a great success. I'm really trying to muster up the energy to go work out. I didn't work out yesterday, despite telling myself I was going to. I don't know if it's happening for me though. And I also wanted to wash my hair. It's kind of getting to the point where if I don't work out soon, I'm probably gonna be washing my hair at eight o'clock tonight. I told Meg I wanted to go for a walk today, but I don't really feel like walking. I feel like just going to bed. I didn't do a lot of things that I said I was gonna do. So here we are. Look at us on a walk when I didn't think I'd do anything today. Right. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't shoot any video or pictures yesterday. How many bottles did you buy? 22. 22 bottles. How many did we drink? Did we figure it out? Is it eight? eight. You're so much taller than me eight. and darker than me and handsomer than me. <laughs> Usually you're the one with like your camera. Look, I have everyone's it now. Everyone's face. I know, but like, <laughs> I don't know. know. I feel like no one wanted to be in a vlog. Like, I don't know. I feel like Bailey wanted to be in the vlog. I feel like she did she too. She said multiple times she felt but like she was But she said she in didn't want to be in it. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe next time, but I'm sad. We'll have we'll have to have another event. Sounds good. And we'll remember to take our phones out and take videos. My cheese board was bomb though. <laughs>